Hello, this is Leon Wolf from RedState.com reporting live from Boulder, Colorado in the post-debate spin room. Now, the candidates have not yet filed in, but I want to talk a little bit about uh, post-debate reactions. In my view, I think that uh, Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz were the clear winners of the debate. I think Marco Rubio was the clear number one. I think he had the first contentious exchange of the night with Jeb Bush, which he clearly and decisively won. I think that he avoided being tripped up all night long and did a great job fielding, I thought, a uh, pretty tough set of questions had most of the memorable moments of the night. The other candidate who had memorable moments was Ted Cruz. But Ted Cruz showed more fire in this debate than he has in the last two combined. Uh, he was funny, he was engaging. Toward the end of the debate, he did slip back into preacher mode, but not before he got in uh, a broadside against the moderators and the network, which I think was a source of a lot of frustration to the people who were watching. And I think he scored a lot of points for himself in doing that. Uh, the biggest surprise of the night was that uh, Ben Carson, who is now the national frontrunner, was almost totally ignored, not just by the moderators, but by the other candidates. It was like the guy who was at uh, about 30% of the polls uh, got almost no airtime. Donald Trump, who gets about as much, uh, also was mostly ignored. So here you have the two candidates who were responsible for about 60% in the polls uh, were largely ignored, and that, that was baffling and confusing to a lot of people, including me. Uh, in terms of losers, I think that Jeb Bush had a very poor debate performance after losing that exchange with Marco Rubio. He had the weird moment where he had a fairly solid answer to a question that he ended by saying that he would like to find a Democrat and give them a warm kiss. Just a weird, bizarre moment in the debate. I think John Kasich uh, did not do himself any favors by basically coming out and yelling at the GOP electorate. And um, other than that, everybody else uh, was mostly just there and provided filler materials. And that's my thoughts on the debate after having watched it here live in Boulder, Colorado.